The ANSI Standard Quality Information Framework, known as QIF, is a feature-based ontology of manufacturing quality metadata built on XML technology and semantically linked to the CAD model. A group of leading CAD and metrology software providers have teamed up to demonstrate a set of state-of-the-art digital metrology workflows for IMTS 2016. In this workflow demonstration, we will begin with a Creo Authority model. A derivative QIF model will be created. This model will contain links to the Authority model and will be the foundation for all data that will be produced downstream. A high-level CMM plan, optimized for the given tolerances, will then be created. A DEMAS CMM program will be generated, then sent off for execution, and the results will be analyzed. These results will then be able to be visualized back on the model. Let's take a deeper look. This demonstration starts with a model with 3D PMI created in PTC Creo. The first step is to create a derivative QIF MBD model, which will contain all the tags necessary to maintain full associativity with the authority Creo model. CapVidia's MBD Vidia for Creo is a plugin that sits directly inside of Creo. It uses Creo APIs to query the model and PMI and build an exact duplicate of the model in the ANSI QIF format. Exporting the QIF MBD model is as simple as just pressing the QIF export button. Here, we see the new QIF model's XML code. Opening the QIF model in CapVidia's MBD Vidia application, we can compare the annotations in the Creo model with the annotations in the QIF model. The QIF PMI matches the Creo model's PMI visually, and all the Creo saved views are reflected as well. But most importantly, the PMI is semantically associated with the underlying geometry, which means that downstream software can consume this data in meaningful ways. Next, we will generate a high-level measurement plan for a CMM using Pundit CMM, an advanced simulation tool for calculating CMM-based measurement uncertainty on a task-specific basis. Using Pundit CMM, a user can make use of these calculated measurement uncertainty values to help create an optimal sampling plan for all of the characteristics on the QIF model. Pundit CMM is built on the QIF format which allows for easy import and export of measurement-related data. Pundit CMM will import the geometry and PMI from the QIF MBD model. After this, information about the measurement equipment to be used is specified in the QIF resources format. Once the CMM and probes are selected in Pundit, we can begin generating sampling patterns on each of the features. Once sampling points have been applied, Pundit CMM can run a simulation to calculate the measurement uncertainty for each of the tolerances on the model, given the specified CMM, probe, and sampling patterns. From here, the user can modify the plan as needed in order to adequately control the measurement process. When complete, Pundit CMM saves this data with the model using QIF plans. This high-level measurement plan is now ready to be consumed by the Checkmate CMM programming software to be converted to a CMM program. For our next step, we will generate an ISO standard DEMIS CMM program using Origin's Checkmate software. First, the QIF MBD and plan data is loaded into the SolidWorks environment using FormatWorks, a plugin created by CapVidia. Checkmate is fully integrated with the SolidWorks environment. On the right, we find the program browser, which contains the inspection program once it has been imported or created. Checkmate can now reload the same QIF model, this time reading the QIF plan information that we set up in Pundit CMM. 
Checkmate will automatically generate a CMM inspection program from this plan, which can be seen in the 3D view. The yellow lines show the feature movements, and the blue lines show the ProPath generated for the CMM. This program is now ready to be posted out to a CMM. Checkmate supports a large variety of CMM program formats, including the diverse subsets of DEMIS supported by various CMM software packages. For this example, we will be running the CMM using the Nikon Cameo software. The DEMIS program is now ready for execution. The Manufacturing Technology Center, MTC, based in Coventry in the United Kingdom, provides manufacturing system solutions in partnership with industry, academia, and other institutions. Its expertise is appropriate to both large and small companies and applicable across a variety of industry sectors. It houses some of the most advanced manufacturing equipment in the world, creating a high-quality environment for the development and demonstration of new technologies. It is part of the High Value Manufacturing Catapult, a network of world-leading centers designed to transform the UK's capability for innovation and help drive future economic growth. The MTC has been at the forefront of digital metrology research since it was opened in 2011. In this workflow, the MTC's participation shows us how a QIF-enabled workflow can operate easily across continents. The DEMIS program is received and executed on an MTC CMM using the Nikon Cameo software. Once the CMM program has finished executing, the results are sent back across the Atlantic and are ready to be processed, analyzed, and reported. The DEMIS results file from the CMM execution is now loaded into Checkmate for results analysis. Here, we see the CMM program that was generated originally, and we now import the DEMIS results file. Next, we can generate a host of standard reporting documents from this results data. In this example, we will generate the Aerospace Standard AS9102 document. The report is now loaded in Excel with all the results from the CMM measurement executed by the MTC. We will then augment the QIF model with the measurement results data using QIF results. These measurement results are now attached as metadata to the CAD model. Our QIF data now contains CAD, PMI, measurement plans, and measurement results, all linked together in one complete package. All of the data is easily navigated and is all mapped directly to the CREO Authority model. Let's take a look at this QIF data in CAPVIDIA's MBDVIDIA application. Browsing the model tree in MBDVIDIA, we can observe the feature actual data from the QIF document. These are the geometries of the given features as measured by the CMM. We can also observe the characteristic actual data from the QIF document, the GD and T evaluation results of the CMM measurement. Note how this data is semantically connected to the 3D model in a way that software applications can easily access it. Bringing up the Bill of Characteristics table in MBD Video allows us to view all the tolerances on the model in a tabulated format. Each tolerance's measurement result is colored in blue or red, depending on whether that particular value is within tolerance or not. Selecting a characteristic in the table highlights the annotation in the 3D view and shows an indicator bar which displays the measured result for that tolerance. This once again highlights the connectivity between the model and the tolerance and measurement results metadata. 
This is just a basic example of how QIF can help set you and your organization on the path to model-based enterprise. Visit us at qifstandards.org to find out more about QIF-enabled software, or to find out how you can take part in the development of this ANSI standard.